So let's discuss methyl compounds. Now methyl compounds are simply compounds that have the side chain or side group CH3. And the CH3 is attached covalently to some other atom molecular compound given here as X. Now this X could be anything and here are a few examples. We have methyl chloride, methyl alcohol or methanol. We have methylamine and we have methyl cyanide. So let's compare methyl compounds to something that we already spoke about, methane. In fact, methane is methyl compound where the X has been replaced with an H. Now, methane is the simplest alkane, and methane has symmetry. And that's because the carbon, the central carbon, is attached to four identical H atoms. One, two, three, four. And that means all the CH bonds will be exactly the same as the other. All these CH bonds will be sp3 hybridized and the angles between any two bonds will be 109.5 degrees. So once again, each bond is identical because we have a single carbon atom attached to four identical H atoms. Hence, our bonds are all sp3 hybridized. So let's take this methane and compare it to a methyl compound. So here we have a methyl compound where we replace the H with an X. This X could be any atom. Now we have bonds that are not all identical. In other words, we still have three of these CH bonds, but now we have a different CX bond. For example, if I replace this X with a chloride atom, so this is a chloride, that means the chloride, since the chloride is more electronegative than either the carbon or, or the H atoms, that means that chloride will pull electrons more strongly than either of the H atom. And so there will be an unequal electron density in this bond. Electrons will be closer to this uh, X atom, to this Cl atom, than to the carbon atom. And that means that this will be a slightly asymmetrical molecule, asymmetrical compound. And so it will slightly deviate from this methane compound. Therefore, the bonds won't be exactly sp3 hybridized. However, the difference is so slight that for the most part, we can approximate these bonds to be sp3 hybridized. But you should know that because of the difference in electronegativity, because this CX bond is not the same as the CH bond, there will be slight uh, differences or deviations from this methane compound.